Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Space Program. We are gathering some missions from the uh, Mission Control Center here to make some money um, because we've that launching all those satellites kind of drained some of our funds because obviously each satellite, um, you know, we didn't recover each of those. They're still in orbit doing their job. Um, the rocket that we used um, to get those into orbit is a pretty expensive rocket also and um, we're, we're just a little low on funds uh, lower than I would like to be you know 262,000 at the moment and the two jobs that we end up picking from the command center is um, two repair missions now here we are we're, we're outfitting our old Skippy shuttle MK four five six uh, if I can do Roman numerals we're refitting this a little bit um, to get it ready for this repair mission. Now, both of these satellites that we're repairing is around Kerbin, and we have used this vessel before to, uh, I think, rescue some Kerbins or get some Kerbins around Minmus. Um, so I figured, you know, it has enough lifting capability to potentially reach both of these satellites. Sadly, um, I overestimated, and I didn't really look at where the satellites were in their orbits and how close together they were um, at the time. And here we are, we're looking at them. So <laughs> one's, one's close to Carbon here and the other one is out past the dang old moon. Um, it's still technically around Carbon, And um, I, I decided to go forward with it anyways. You know, we have Valentina and Bill, they're both in the shuttle, they're ready to go. So we're just gonna launch and we're gonna deal with the first satellite ahead of time um, and then do a second mission with another group of Kerbals um, for the second satellite. So in essence, um, whoops, you know, always always kind of look to see what, what you're trying to accomplish in, in a mission before actually launching a rocket, I think is a good thing to go ahead. Uh, we're going to start off with a pretty slow ascent. Um, you guys keep giving me feedback that this thing won't flip if you go slow enough. Um, however, Valentina is feeling a little special. She's going to do at least one full rotation here and recover. Um, because why not? You know, Valentina do, doing a one for, for the honor of Jeb, I think, um, since he is no longer with us in the space agency. And she's just going to go ahead get this thing up to orbit. We're going to adjust our inclination a little bit as we go to just kind of assist with this initial rendezvous for this satellite. Um, now the first satellite that we are burning towards at the moment, I believe is just gonna be a simple repair job. We're not gonna be attaching anything to the satellite. Um, I believe one of their solar panels has um, broken or stopped responding in some manner. And so that's why we are bringing up an engineer. Engineers are required to do these type of fixes in the game. And if you don't have one, well then you can't repair or attach items to um, other objects in space here. So we're gonna, this is a pretty a, a high eccentric orbit it's got going here. It's got a pretty low periaps and pretty high apoaps. Very uh, much an oval. And it's got a very odd angle to it. So, um, you know, you end up burning a lot of fuel delta v trying to get these angles correct and matching those that's kind of like step one um i probably should have taken off at a better angle around kerbin um to be honest um it's something that i need to get better at is kind of pre-planning missions a little bit more so here you can see that our orbit is close to this satellite in fact we could get a couple intersects but I do not want to have our Kerbin spend a lot of time in space here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, a decent amount of like radial adjustments to bring us a little bit closer to our object here. And this again is going to cost a lot of fuel to do so. Now it's not too bad because obviously we're going to have to match orbits with this eventually. So at some point we're going to have to expand kind of Delta V. Um, but I'm probably doing it in a very inefficient kind of method to do so here. And, you know, that's just part of the course. It's, it's, I'm not, <laughs> you know, the best Kerbal Space Programmer uh, here on YouTube. You know, I'm no, I'm no Matt Lone or, or Scott Manley when it comes to these type things. 
So, um, you, you, you kind of get what you get with, with Uthris here on the channel. Um, but I, I expect I'll get better as we keep playing the game for sure. So right now it looks like we are trailing behind the satellite. Um, so I'll keep my orbit below and that will um, hopefully allow us to catch up as much as possible before intersecting uh, later on on the, the top side of the orbit here. And, you know, you can just play with these a little bit, um, add multiple maneuver node steps. You can even change that, grab the whole maneuver node and change it where you're making all these adjustments initially here, um, like holistically. It might be a good idea to do that. But, you know, this 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 high eccentric orbit is giving me a little bit of trouble um, in terms of getting our um, rendezvous at a decent spot. So I decided to kind of skip over having a initial contact that's really good um, and going to a secondary contact later in the orbit because at the end of the day, you know, I don't want to expend all my fuel you know, just, just trying to get there as quickly as possible. You know, there's no value in that. There, there's value in, in me trying to um, get as close as possible a little bit more efficiently. Um, we're still gathering science from our mid-miss location. Our, our satellites being up in orbit is helping that uh, happen, I think, a little bit more frequently. Though, um, you'll notice over time as we are speeding up um, and time warping, in these episodes, upcoming episodes, our, our comm satellites are just slowly drifting out of orbit. Um, or not out of orbit, but like out of position. I really, it's really frustrating without like mech jab or something like very specific. Um, it's kind of hard to get satellites to be sit in a nice even spacing forever. Um, but nonetheless, that's neither here nor there, I don't think. So we'll just get our target velocity to zero real fast since we're within a kilometer and now we're just going to cruise uh, and then burn right next to our little satellite here make that that nice and ready uh, we're going to grab an EVA repair kit I'm gonna float over here and take a look at oh it's missing that one panel so we will fix it extend that out so that's a quick kind of easy repair job just gonna quickly look over the rest of the satellite make sure everything is good bill we'll just hop back into our little orbiter and now um you know here initially i was like well you know maybe do we have enough fuel to get um anywhere close to the other satellite uh it looks like we can actually start to do that and maybe get a intersect here 400 meters a second okay that's looking good all right and we can actually get one nice nice approach there very very very, very nice yeah so um it's going to take a couple burns to make this happen it appears just trying to get this you know again as close as possible to our target though these maneuver nodes are looking a little weird so I'm gonna maybe even redo this a little bit I'm trying to remember exactly my thought process I think I think I was worried that I'll be running out of fuel if doing both of those maneuver nodes um, because I think it was only showing my total velocity needed for the most current maneuver node. So I decided to abort that idea and come back to Kerbin at this point. I'm going to go ahead and just use up all of the fuel on this rocket. Might as well uh, get us down to the surface a little bit quicker than normal. We'll get captured by the atmosphere, burn up a little bit. Totally fine. This thing is suited for it. Um, we're not coming in at a crazy angle like we did you know, early on in our Kerbin sort of adventures. Um, so you can see we're just we're just a nice beacon in the sky now, which is pretty cool. Valentina, Bill, they're enjoying it. They're having a good time. We'll even jettison out the storage module. We don't really need that either. And we'll come down for a uh, splashdown here in the ocean, get picked up, 
and hopefully head back to the Space Center with a different set of Kerbals. Maybe we'll give Valentina and Bill a bit of a break um, here to, to recuperate from being in space for a few days and go back to the VAB, check around, see if there's any other cool missions. There's kind of a rover construction mission that we might do next episode too. And we'll attach some solar panels onto this. I think that was uh, the main reason we had to come back. I think I was actually running out of energy um, rather than fuel. And without all that energy, <laughs> we wouldn't be able to maneuver um, all the time to get out to our destination. So um, we have to do another launch and we are bringing two fresh Kerbals. Um, this, this orbit is even farther and uh, a little bit more elliptical. Um, so we have Samantha and Lumen Kerbin. They're going to be launching out here in the same rocket, refurbished, ready to go, brand new, and hopefully they're not going to do any fancy tricks, you know. Samantha isn't quite up to Valentina's skill level, I don't think, in piloting, but she should be able to maintain a good, solid ascent here. And we'll rotate, get rid of these boosters, and keep going vertical a little bit longer. And then start rotating around oh, 12,000 meters um, to, to a little bit more of um, a good burn to get into an orbital position. So nice Milky Way in the background, you know. I turned up the brightness of the game, so hopefully you guys can see a lot better nowadays um, with these missions, That especially since we do nighttime launches. I think this is helping a lot from a YouTube compression and video um, format. Um, obviously, you know, playing, if I wasn't recording, I would probably still have it set to a pretty dark, uh, kind of realistic lighting situation. But, you know, I have to worry about the YouTube um, videos and making sure that you guys can see what's going on. Um, because if you can't see what's going on, most likely y'all are just kind of going to skip it. Um, which I don't blame you for. You know, if I couldn't see what was going on either, then I probably wouldn't be worried about it. So we'll line up to our marker here. And we're going to first fix the inclination of our trajectory. And get that set at a good rate, taking a look inside the command module. Um, also, it's always kind of cool to do. I like the interior views in this game a lot. So we're like 0.3 at the ascending node, that's not too bad, I don't think, but uh, we'll see if we can't get it a little bit closer. And now we will kind of circularize a little bit. You can see we have about a period of one to two here. So what I'm gonna try and do is get this um, intersect going and maybe just try and just do an orbital timing and see if we can go around once and then just meet them on the back end, I think, first. Because um, I think that might be a good solution initially here. Um, obviously, trying it out, um, <laughs> it doesn't necessarily work out that way, uh, sadly. But nonetheless, this does get our orbit at least out towards the satellite that we are trying to get to, which is, you know, at the end of the day, um, what we're trying to do in, in this mission. So we will go ahead. I wanted to see if the new maneuver node system could also be used to just go to any target, but it doesn't seem so. It looks to be a little bit more for interplanetary or um, uh, kind of setups and maneuvers there. So for the sake of time, um, I think I was going to circularize my orbit a little bit, get this um, set up in a quicker fashion than last time because we have a decent amount of fuel to work with. So um, we can get, you know, the orbit first set up, stay low because we're still behind the satellite and burn here about 180 or so meters a second. Let's get that a little bit better and then come up and see about what point can we get an intersect um, on here. And it looks like if we wait about another you know, 30% of an orbit, we can get pretty darn close for just a nice, you know, 32 or so 
meters a second uh, delta V burn there. Which will work out for us. Give us plenty of fuel to kind of match speed in orbit here um, with our target. So we'll just keep playing with maneuver node. The maneuver node um, is, is a little frustrating sometimes, you know, you'll, you'll grab it a, a little bit and, and it just kind of throws it off. And so you have to play with it. Um, but I think that's part of the charm of the game is the maneuver node not being like perfectly exact. I'm sure you can get some mods to make it a little bit more exact too. So at this point, we're not gonna use a maneuver node to kind of round out or match orbits. What I do is I just simply set it to target. Um, and when I'm close enough, I kind of zero out our relative velocity. And then uh, I just burn towards it for, you know, about two meters a second uh, to bring our speeds very, very relative. And then it's, it's kind of just honestly like flying right at it. Here, um, I kind of <laughs> hit it with some exhaust of the engine, which is bad because now it's tumbling. So that's going to be a whole joy to try and um, <laughs> get that to to figure itself. So at this stage, um, I, I've never attached a part directly onto um, a new craft. I've never done that yet in the game. Um, so. You know, I was very confused at this point, trying to figure out, well, you know, how do I, how do I fit this into my backpack just to attach it onto there? And then I actually had to look up um, how to do so. There, there's a little crane button over there on the right side. If you hit that, you go into build mode. And if you are close enough to a vessel's inventory, you can grab that part and slap it to something that's in range. Um, now you can see I didn't slap it on there very well. So I'm going to quickly just kind of move over here and get this in a little bit of a nicer setup. Um, I'm gonna attach it to the back of one of these camera rigs and get that welded on there nice and kind of straight, which looks pretty good in my opinion. So now we just have a tumbling camera that's just taking pictures continuously of, of just empty space now. It's no longer even pointing at Kerbin. So um, I think we did a very good job on this mission, very clean and successful kind of operation here. So at this stage, simple procedure, we just return back to Kerbin. Uh, very much the same situation last time. We will jettison that out early. We don't really need it. Um, and we usually burn up in the atmosphere. So completed two missions here this episode. Uh, we're getting some more funds um, because next here soon, we're going to try for some more expensive missions. Um, namely, I want to start leaving our local area away from Kerbin and going um, a little bit more interplanetary. And we're going to need some more funds to get some bigger rockets to do that. So keep an eye out for more of these type of episodes here this week. And we'll see about completing um, some more interesting missions uh, also. So if you guys enjoyed this content, feel free to subscribe for more creative goodness such as this, hit that like button, and I will see you all in the next episode after we purchase some new parts. Um, we're at the mid game. It's going to be interesting.